Hi everybody, happy Monday. I'm KHOU 11 meteorologist Pat Kaplan here with a look at the tropics. We do this every night, especially now as we're in the peak of hurricane season, just to keep you in the loop as to what's going on. And it's uh, another week pretty much where things are pretty quiet. Again, that feature that we were watching last year, um, not last year, last week rather, um, it has totally fallen apart. We mentioned that the other day, and now there's just nothing out there right now. So to give you an overview of the tropics, you can see no development is expected as of the 7 p.m. update. No development is expected here as we go through the next seven days. So let's take a look at the satellite and across the Atlantic. You can see it is just dead quiet from the Cape Verde Islands all the way to the Antilles. Uh, this is the feature that we were watching once upon a time that just totally fell apart. It does look like there's a tropical wave moving off the west coast of Africa, but there, the conditions for development right now in this part of the world are so hostile that the models aren't even picking up on that developing into anything. This little feature here did kind of blow up today. The Hurricane Center hasn't said anything about it. So again, as long as the conditions remain hostile, even stuff that looks decent on satellite is really going to struggle. In the Caribbean, there's nothing out there. I mean, we are just talking about wide open, uh, clear conditions here from the Antilles out towards Central America. In the Gulf, uh, we are a little different here. We do have a couple of storms uh, rolling through the Bay of Campeche, and we've got also a couple of storms out towards the west coast of Florida. These are all along a boundary that moved through uh, our area here in southeast Texas yesterday. That's what brought us the lower humidity today. So all of that drier air is pushing into the Gulf. This is where that front is. And so typically we do keep an eye on fronts as they move over tropical waters this time of year because sometimes areas of low pressure can spin up along those boundaries, but I don't see that being the case with anything out there today. Like I mentioned though, a lot of Saharan dust out across the open Atlantic with even more slated to move out here as we get into next week. So this is looking seven days out into the future. We've got more dust on the way as we get into next Monday and that really keeps a lid on any type of, uh, type of development. Remember, any system that's trying to form out in the tropics into a tropical storm or a hurricane needs a lot of tropical moisture. So when you've got dry, dusty, sinking air out over those areas, it really keeps clouds from organizing and developing into storms. So that's why it's so good for us to have Saharan dust out in the Atlantic. Something I do want to talk about, a little out of the ordinary for us, uh, but this is a big day in weather history. 125 years ago, the Great Galveston Hurricane of 1900 made landfall in Galveston, September 8th, 1900. This was the deadliest hurricane and the deadliest natural disaster of any kind to hit the United States. Uh, the estimates were that six to 12,000 people were dead. Most estimates average around 8,000 deaths, but we don't have a direct count because so many people, unfortunately, were washed away out to sea uh, from the storm surge. And the reason why this was such a deadly hurricane was one, there was a, a huge lack of warning ahead of time. The night before, folks didn't even know that the storm was coming. And two, the infrastructure to protect the island and the growing city from any hurricanes wasn't in place. And so it was actually this storm that prompted the creation of the Galveston Seawall. The next year, um, the Texas government gave the green light for the development of the seawall and the construction was done over a couple of years and it was actually in 1909 and 1915 that two hurricanes challenged the um, reputation of that new seawall and it did great it protected the city and it really cut down on the number of fatalities so a lot of galveston's history and where it is today is all totally formed and shaped after this hurricane that hit 125 years ago today. And this hurricane is also a reminder for us that even though things are quiet right now, we are in the historical or climatological peak of the season, which means that this day, or at least by the time we get to September 10th, which is the, the official peak, uh, that's the day where typically, statistically, we would see the highest amount of tropical systems or hurricanes in the Atlantic going back over the last hundred years. So, uh, you know, even though things are quiet right now, we're at the point from now through October where we could start to see a ramp up in activity. And in fact, the last few years, that's exactly what's happened. The seasons have gotten off to slow starts and then have been really backloaded 
with more activity from October into November. So we're happy to report things are quiet now. There are no threats to the United States. We are getting to the peak of the season, though, so of course, stay on top of the forecast. We do these updates every night, so stay with us for the latest on the season.